I'm Christy, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Uh, today I thought I would do like a full face of one brand tutorial and also a little bit first impressions. So the brand that I'm going to be doing is Makeup, I don't know why I'm holding this. The brand that I'm going to be using is Makeup Revolution. I have used a lot of things for this brand before. Um, some of the things I really liked, some of the things I didn't like and some of these things are like brand new, um, maybe not brand new to the shop but brand new to me definitely and I've never tried before. I've got a whole bunch of stuff sitting here next to me and um, no idea what I'm going to do on my face so I'm just going to go for it I think. I definitely have got a glitter here, I definitely want to do something glittery. Um, yeah. Yesterday was my first day like exercising since Christmas and my legs are agony. And I have a hit class again tonight, which I'm not looking forward to even a tiny little bit. So hopefully something bad happens to me before then, like I break a leg or die, because honestly anything would be better than going to this class. I'm so not looking forward to it. I'm sure I'll feel good after it though, but I don't want to do it. Okay, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is start with eyes. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do or how much fallout these eyeshadows have so I feel like eyes is possibly the best way to go. And to prime my eyes for eyeshadow I'm just going to go in with the Conceal and Define I can never say this, I don't know why. The Conceal and Define Concealer and I am in the shade C3. I've used this concealer so many times I'm not really going to say much about it. It's. I just really like it. I feel like it's a good base for my eyeshadow, also like it to cover up blemishes and it's not that expensive. For the first time in my life I tried to fill in my hairline with eyeshadow and I feel like it's very noticeable so don't look at it. You probably didn't even notice it until I said it really but just don't look at it. Okay so I have two eyeshadow palettes here that I haven't actually tried, it's the Pretty Creative palette. I got this free when I spent over £12 I think it was on Makeup Revolution and you get a free eyeshadow palette and it has a highlighter and a blush in it as well which is pretty good and I also got, this wasn't free, this came in a set with lip glosses and I can't remember what else it was in a set with, oh, and a little contour and blush. It's not down as an eyeshadow palette, it's a makeup pigment palette and pigments aren't technically eye safe. I don't have sensitive eyes, I, 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 tall. I don't have sensitive eyes at all and I know that I am fine with pressed pigments on my eyes but um, if you're not then maybe this palette is not for you if you have more sensitive eyes. And this is just called the makeup pigment palette. The set that I got this in was called Soph's Party Palette. Um, I have so many boxes in my room still from Christmas. The Totally Soph kit. And I think this was down to, I'd say £15. That seems cheap, but I think that's what it was. So first of all, with a fluffy brush, I'm going to go into this shade here, Break the Rules, which is actually the blush shade. And I'm just going to use that to then, ooh, ooh. That's a, a lot of kickback from that. But I just want to use this to um, blend up almost as like a transition shade. Oh, oh, that's nice. It's like so, so subtle. But that's actually what I was going for. It kind of reminds me of um, one of the shades from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I cannot for the life of me remember what Bon Bon. No, I can't remember what the shadow's called. But you'll know what it is if you have the Chocolate Bar palette. And then I'm going to go in with this shade here, Aesthetic. Which is a more peachy kind of... It's still pinky, but I would say it is more neutral, nudey peach shade. I'm sorry, I am awful at describing. And I'm just going to take that on the same brush and I'm just going to blend that kind of deeper into the crease. And not take it up as high as what we took that Break the Rules colour. I'm going to go into the Makeup Pigment palette and I'm going to take this shade here that doesn't have a name. It's just a pretty basic transition shade, I would say. not sure how these are going to blend because they're pressed pigments, but... Hopefully alright, I'm just taking that one more of like a kind of tapered brush so I can be a little bit more precise and take it a little bit 
deeper into the crease. Actually, no, I don't really like... That's not the vibe I was going for. I'm going to go in with this kind of more cool toned brown shade here and do that instead. I don't know why, that looked very peachy on my eye there and it's just not dark enough for what I was wanting at that particular moment. I'm just going back in with my fluffy brush and just blending that all together. I don't really feel like it looks like I've used three eyeshadows on my lid there. I feel like nothing's, nothing's happening. I'm just going to go in with... Fuck it. I'm just going to go in with this warm shade here and start putting that in my crease. I don't feel like anything's showing up and I don't know why. I'm very confused. So I've used two shades from the Pretty Creative palette and I've used this, this, this and this from the... Can you even see that? This, this, this and this from the Makeup Pigments palette. I don't really like it. I don't really feel like it's done anything apart from kind of making me look like I have an eye infection a little bit. Which is such a shame because I have the Extra Spice palette and I have the, um, just the regular, um, Sofex, like the first palette, whatever it was called. And, um, yeah, they were great palettes so I don't really know what's going on here. I have the Extra Spice palette here though so I'm just going to go into the shade here, 21, which is this fuchsia pink shade, am I? No, I'm not. I'm going to go into the shade Mulled Wine here and I'm going to work that into my crease because I know that this palette is good so... Um, yeah, I'm going to just work the mulled wine into my crease and then try and blend it out with the Break the Rules, which was the pink shade that we put on first. What the fuck is happening? That ain't it, sis. I'm enraged. Okay, going in with the shade Mulled Wine, first of all, from the Extra Spice palette. And I'm just kind of patting that and pressing it rather than swiping it. And I'm going to blend it out in a second of... And I am going to go in with that blush shade Break the Rules um, to try and blend that out a little bit. That was from the Pretty Creative palette, the one that we originally had put in our crease. Okay, I've went in with the shade Aesthetic and I've went in with the shade Break the Rules. Honestly, they are doing absolutely fuck all. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of mulled wine and try and blend, like, from the Extra Spice palette. The shade that we already put on. I'm just going to take that lighter and try and blend it out with itself. So I've just dipped into the brush, tapped away any excess and now I'm just trying to blend it out with itself. Okay, next I'm going to go into the shade 21, which was like the fuchsia pink shade, and I'm going to work that just a little bit deeper into my crease, I think that's what I want to do. I'm not sure. Yeah. Why not? So I'm just going to do the same thing that I've done with mulled wine, and I'm just going to like stamp it along my crease, and then blend it out. And then in with mulled wine again and I'm just blending that out so 50% on the 21 colour and like 50% on the mulled wine that we had already blended out just to make that a nice kind of transition and look a little bit more seamless. I am so tempted to go in with this shade here, Imaginative, all over my entire lid but... Is that going to look like shit? Maybe. I feel like if I want to do that, I do need to deepen up my crease a little bit. So I'm going to go in with this kind of dark plum shade here, Enchanted, from the Extra Spice palette that is. And I'm just taking that on the same brush that we've been doing kind of, um, the other, um, <laughs> that we've been doing the other shades with. And I'm just going to add that a little bit into my crease. This is probably going to look mental. So I think what I'm going to do with this shade here then is just go right in with my finger. Oh, that's a lot of product. Just... Oh, fuck. Well, nobody can say that's not pigmented. 
So I'm just putting this on with my finger initially and then I'm going to blend it out with a brush. I just feel like this just to be the quickest and easiest way and how to get the most colour payoff if I just go in with my finger first. And then just with a flat brush, I'm going in and just neatening that up. And I'm just going to go in with my fluffy brush and just kind of blend this out in the crease. I don't like that kind of harsh line look. And I'll be, maybe just need to go in with a little bit of mulled wine and Enchanted again and just blend that up into the crease and I'm also just with my fluffy brush I'm going to dip into sorry that was from the pretty creative palette that imaginative colour was and now I'm just going to go into the pressed pigments palette and I'm going to go in with this kind of champagne pink colour here just taking it on a fluffy brush and I'm blending that in my crease as well just to kind of help the transition between matte and shimmer I guess. Okay next I have the liner revolution waterproof smudge proof intense black felt tip liner. Let's see if that's true and that's what the tip looks like. And I am just going to draw in a winged liner. I go think I'm going to cover it with glitter anyway. So but I just want to see how this works. Okay, that was fine um definitely not as black as i would like it to be and i feel like i had to kind of like drag on some bits to get the color to show up and kind of go over a couple of times definitely not the best liquid liner Blah. definitely not the best like <laughs> i just bit my tongue yeah it's not the best liquid liner i've ever used i would never reach for this when i have my nyx epic ink liner and um, this was five pounds this liner, I think the NYX Epic Ink liner is £9. I personally would pay the extra because I just think it's a lot better. I mean, it's fine, it got the job done, there's a wing there. Um, it's just a little bit patchy and a little bit more effort to get a wing than I would like to put in because why put more effort in when I can just use the Epic Ink liner that's just swoop, swoop and done. So. I guess I better do my other eye. My camera shut off as usual. I don't know where or when it shut off. Hopefully you've seen me doing my eyeliner. Um, yeah, I don't like that eyeliner at all actually. Like on this eye, it felt like it was drying up already. Like as I was trying to use it, it's so patchy. It was hard to get a nice clean line with it because I had to keep going over and over. Um, my liner's not looking great and I can still really see my shadows through it. Um, I will try this eyeliner when I don't have like a kind of more um, shimmer eyeshadow on my lid just in case it works a little bit better on matte shadows. Um, I will give it another try but as of right now, no. But fret not my good friends, um, my eyeliner may look shitty now but we're going to put glitter over top of it anyway and this glitter here is the one that I am using. It is called Retro Glitter, Bro Glitter Bomb Retrospect and I just don't think that the camera is going to pick up on how pretty this is but it's a, uh, how would I describe it, it's got so many like different colours in it. I guess I'll just try and put it out on here. I feel like the camera is not going to pick it up as well as a new life would and sorry about this disgusting palette. Oh man, fucking focus. I'm not sure if that's picking up on camera properly but it's it's so pretty in new life. And I am cheating a little bit. I did not get the um the glitter glue from Makeup Revolution because I actually had just bought a NYX one a couple of days ago which I also haven't tried and I'm 
don't feel the need to have two separate glitter glues. I just feel like that's a waste of money and I've heard good things about the NYX one. So that's what we're doing. So I'm just taking a little bit of the NYX glitter glue on the back of my hand. Ooh, it comes out like a creamy colour. That's not what I was expecting. And with a skinny little brush, I am just going to paint along my eyeliner, I guess. It would help if I didn't use the thing that I had been originally using as a mirror to put the glitter on, but you live and you learn. And then I am just taking another little skinny brush, picking up the glitter and hopefully just placing it on top. Ooh. This glitter is really, really pretty. Okay, so that's one wing done. I'm going to do the other one off camera and then I'm going to skip on to base makeup before I finish under the eyes. So I will be back in one second. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I am not thrilled with how this is turning out. I'm hoping my mascara and lashes and shit are on, then it'll be fine. Um... Let's just go on to base, even though my skin is covered in glitter. So the first thing I'm going to use is the Colour Correct, Correct and Fix Primer. And it's like a green primer, so it cancels out red tones, I guess. I mean, it doesn't actually say that on it, but I'm assuming um, green generally cancels out redness in the skin. I have a fair bit of redness in my skin, especially like around my nose area and stuff. So let's see if this helps that out. I feel like I used way too much. It's definitely uh, cancelling out the redness I feel. Um, and once that my foundation and stuff is on, hopefully it's a nice base for it to sit on top of. I don't really like the feeling of it. It feels like watery I don't know it's like when I'm rubbing it in I don't like the feeling of it but on my actual skin it feels fine it doesn't really feel like I have anything on um oh my god I look like a ghost though but it's definitely cancelled out the redness in my skin which is nice and obviously I wouldn't just wear this on its own anyway I'm going to have a foundation on top of it so like any kind of greenish residue is going to get to fuck them and the foundation I'm using is the Revolution Pro Foundation Drops in the shade F4. I have actually done a review of this foundation on my channel before and um, I hated it. I did not like how it looked on my skin. It kind of separated all during the day. I didn't like the feeling of it and I did only use it that one time and didn't really like it. So yesterday um, I kind of found it in a drawer when I was cleaning out my makeup and decided to just put it on just to give it like one last try because I don't really think it's fair if you only wear a foundation once because it could be the base that you have on that day, makeup that you put on top of it that hasn't been um, like reacted well to it. Um, so I put it on yesterday and I actually really liked it and it sat really well on my skin. So I'm going to put this on again today and hopefully I like it again. I do love, Revo I do love Makeup Revolution's Fast Base Stick Foundation. I love that. I do not like their, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like the foundation version of the concealer. I find that breaks up really badly on my skin. Um, and I actually have a little revolution brush to use here. It's like a kind of flat top brush and I'm just going to use this to blend my foundation in. Never used any of Revolution's brushes before either so I'm not really a massive brush person. Like if it gets the makeup on and it's nice then that's perfect. I have my favourites that I like to use and um, so like I'm not fanatical about brushes. A brush is a brush to me. So I just like to use a brush to get most of my base down and then once my concealer's on I'll use a beauty sponge to blend everything out and just take away any excess product from my skin. Right in my eyebrow, okay. I don't have any eyebrow products to try. I did try their angled um, eyebrow brush. I don't know if that's angled eyebrow pencil or crayon or something um, a few weeks ago and didn't really like it. 
so and I couldn't see anything else to do when I was out or yesterday when I was getting other shit in. I just like to use my same brow shit all the time though to be honest. I don't like changing up my brow routine that much. It's so simple what I do now. I just have like the ABH Ash Brown Powder, run it through the front of my brows and then Glossier Boy Brow and that is me barabing. Barabum. Okay, and with my concealer, which is the same one I used to prep my lids, the Conceal and Define concealer. So I've got C0.5, which is a little bit light, and C3, which matches my skin tone relatively well. I used to like a really light concealer under my eyes. Um, I don't really like that anymore. I just like it to be kind of the same-ish colour as what my skin is. And yeah, I've been using this foundation, uh, this concealer sorry for a while and it is one of the ones that I do keep repurchasing so I obviously do quite like it. And lately I have not been setting my foundation or my concealer at all. Um, the only powder I've been using on my face is for highlighting and bronzing, contouring etc. But during the day I don't really set my foundation or my concealer. I like to be a little bit dewier. And I feel like in the winter my skin is so dry that if I, if I set it, I feel like it makes it a little bit too dry during the day. And even though my skin is oily, I don't mind being shiny. Like, the amount of times a day somebody tells me that I look so shiny, I don't care. I like it. Okay, and I have the little Soph X Contour Palette. Um, to me... I think this is a contoury bronzer shade which I will use to bronze up my skin. This is a highlighter, I don't know about it but I'm going to put it on anyway. And this is maybe like a blush I would say. A big fluffy brush, I'm just going to dip into this contour shade here, tap off any excess and start doing like the figure 3 motion that everybody does. It's nothing groundbreaking and outstanding going on here. And I kind of just like to bronze my entire forehead because I feel like that's what makes it look a little bit smaller except maybe right here but the rest of it I pretty much bronze the full thing up to be honest. That's actually a really nice colour for me actually. It's not too orangey but yeah I like that. And what I like to do just to make sure it's not going to be patchy is just go back in with my beauty blender and pat it all out. And I'm going to go in with that exact same shade but only on a kind of little brush like this to get right onto my contours. This is the another brush by Revolution. That was more than I had intended. And again... Just patting over it with a beauty blender. Doesn't it just look so much better when you go over it with the beauty blender? I personally think so. Let me know. Maybe you think it doesn't make any difference at all. I'm going to go in with the highlight from this palette, which I am not sure about. It looks very white and like it may be a little bit chalky. But the only other one that I have is this Created to Create from the I'm Pretty palette, which kind of feels like it, I feel like it has a little bit of... Um, um, greenish undertones and I'm not really obsessed with a coloured highlight unless it's pink. Okay so that highlight's not actually bad once it's on the skin. It's actually really nice actually. It catches the light really prettily. It's a little bit whiter than what I would like my highlighter to be. So unless you're like super super pale then I think or maybe you just like a really really pale highlight but even for me it's a little bit too white. And finally I'm going to go in with the blush shade from that palette and I'm just going to take this on this same brush from before and I'm just going to blush my face up a little bit. Okay I'm going to finish under my eyes now and I actually have the Multi Liner Brights 4 Colour Retractable Lip Liners and the colours in this are blue, purple, teal and silver. Never used this before but I've also got a lip liner one as well so let's hope they're good. And this was £5 and if they're good that's a really good deal for four eyeliners. And how it works is like the pens that you probably had in school where you click one down, then click the other down. Pull down the desired colour trigger to use the liner when the colour is running low, twist the top along the arrow of the pen to release more pigment. 
I reckon I'm going to go for this blue colour. Ah, and then you twist it like this and it pops out. That is so cool. Okay, that was fine. I did have to work a little bit to get the colour out and it does show up better on my skin than it does in my actual waterline. But for £5 and if the other colours uh, work as well as this, that is not bad at all. Again, it's not like the best eyeliner that I've ever used in my life, but will I use this again? Definitely. The colour's really pretty. You have to go over a couple of times to get the intensity that you want and I personally would set it in place with a powder but for £5 for four colourful eyeliners and it's just kind of handy like this um, not bad at all I would say I would um, I would recommend that but of course I will need to just try out the other colours as well which I will just do on my hand just now so there is the green there is the silver ooh silvers oh I like the silver and here is the purple one oh not the color that I thought it was going to be but oh I like that a lot so with the colour imaginative that we took all over the lid, I'm just going to set this blue in place with it by lightly running it along this as well. And I'm actually going to take the highlight and shade from that palette as well, the Created to Create, and just put this right on the inner part of my lower lash line. Fuck, don't put it in your eye. Okay, and with this colour here, Aesthetic, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush, tap off the excess and run that right under this, just to kind of keep it blended together and this will stop my concealer creasing also. Okay, and the only thing, and the only thing left to do for eyes now is mascara. I have here the Mascara Revolution in Black again, never tried this, what does it say about it? Nothing, it's a mascara. I don't know if I'm going to put lashes on today, um, I was going to, but we'll see how this looks with the mascara on I guess and then we'll decide. Ugh. So the wand looks like this, it's quite a big chunky wand, it's quite a big chunk, as I was saying. The guy next door, let him live. As I was saying, the mascara revolution. The wand is a bit chunky for my liking. I prefer like smaller plasticky ones that I can really get in with and really do my lower lashes with. Um, and the product on the wand, it looks like there's a lot of product on there. Um, so I'm hoping it's not like clumpy. I'm hoping this is my new favourite mascara, but we'll see. That's one coat, that's pretty good I would say. Okay, so there's one eye with the mascara and one eye without the mascara. I really like it, I like this a whole lot more than I thought I was going to like it actually. And I do feel like my lashes at the side, like these wee ones, they point out the way and almost down the way and a lot of mascaras they do coat them but they don't lift them up. And I feel like this mascara has really lifted them up. Ooh, I like this mascara. <laughs> Cut to five minutes ago when I sarcastically said, <laughs> maybe I'll find my new favourite mascara. For lips, I got another one of these retractable liners and um, this is the Multi Liner in Nudes. And it's got natural, mauve, nude brown and pale pink. Okay, so there's the four colours there, I think. That's pale pink. That's natural. That's mauve. And that's nude brown. So yeah, I think that's pale pink. Nat 
Pale pink, nude brown, mauve and natural? I don't know. I don't actually know. That's the only annoying thing about this. Like, how am I supposed to know? Anyway, all of the colours are nice except this one here on the end which I think is... I think that must be nude brown but I don't like it at all. Um, but the other ones I would definitely wear. For today, I think I'm going to wear whatever this one is. It was really easy to apply and um, didn't really need to go over it loads and loads of times, just glided on pretty easily. The, um, the only thing I would say about these is I wish that they had the actual shade names next to the little drop down thing because whereas with the eyeliner one it was fine because there's obviously a very clear difference between blue, silver, purple and green on this one. Um, it's, it's pretty hard to tell what one's which and I suppose it doesn't really matter but um, yeah I think that would have just been nice if that had had that. And then I'll just show you the three lip glosses that I got from the Totally Soft kit. Um, they're all like nudes. This one is called Fudge. Syrup. This is hard to do and I can't see. And then this one which is my favourite is Cake. Cake kind of reminds me a little bit of Candy K, um, like from the Kylie Jenner collection, which when that first came out, I uh, fucking loved that shit. And this kind of reminds me of it a little bit. Apologies for the worst lip gloss swatches you've ever seen in your life. I'm going to put on Cake because it's my favourite, so yeah. Yeah, I really like that. This is probably like a really, really good everyday shade for me. This is something I would just fling on like going to work or whatever. Um, because I think it would be nice when I'm not wearing like very much makeup. I don't wear like, all I really wear is concealer, eyebrows, freckles and highlighter I suppose. So I think this would be quite nice during the day. Okay, so final... Oh, I've not done a setting sprue. Um, I have two makeup fixing sprays here. I have the... I Heart Revolution Vanilla and Coconut Spray, which I've never tried before. It smells um, nice. It reminds me of a girl that I went to school with who always smelled like vanilla and all her stuff smelled like vanilla, so... Yeah, that's nice. And I have the Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray, which I have used a lot of times. I already know that this is a good makeup setting spray because I've used it a lot. Um, so I think I'm going to go in with the I Heart Revolution fixing spray and see. I didn't even read what that was supposed to do. I don't know, just a fixing spray I guess. So the Pretty Creative palette what? I love the blue shade in it so I will definitely give it another try, use these shimmer shades, see how they are. That's my alarm going to remind me that the James Charles palette goes on say in 10 minutes time he's restocking and I really want to get it. So yes, uh, I'll quickly try and finish this up then. Uh, yeah, I really like the blue shade and the Pretty Creative palette. I'll give all the other shades a wee try and to be fair, it was free, so everything's good when it's free. Maybe I'll use this shade Daydreamer here for like a really intense dark smoky eye. Uh, this Pigments palette, um, I didn't really dive into any of the shimmers and I only really did use a couple of these shades so I can't say too much about it from what I did use mm, a little bit like lacklustre, not buzzing about it, but I'll definitely try out the shimmers and see how they perform and um, I'll just keep using it. The colour corrector, I feel like personally, like with this, this and whatever my concealer is, this, I feel like my base looks really nice right now, so even though I dragged the shit out of this in a previous review, um, I retract my statement because I feel like my skin looks beautiful with it. 
It must have been what base I had on at the time, but paired with the colour correction base, I feel like my skin looks really nice and flawless at the moment. But of course, I will need to just see how this wears throughout the day, because um, that was a problem the first time that I tried it. I felt like it really broke up around about anywhere that I was oily, and I feel like I could really feel it on my face quite heavy, which I can't right now, so um, yeah, just a change of opinion, I guess. Contour palette. Um, the highlighter's okay, will I use it again? Probably not, just because my heart belongs to the Wet n Wild highlighter and it's a little bit too white for me, but I really liked the contour shade in it. I feel like it was a really nice shade for me, not too orangey, and um, I could use it as a bronzer and a contour. Um, also like the blush as well, quite natural. Um, I do tend to lean more towards a kind of very pink blush but um, I would definitely wear this on days where I'm not wearing as much makeup or just fancy a change so I did really like that. The three lip glosses, I've only tried one of them which was cake which I really like, it feels really comfortable on my lips, it's not too, it's not sticky at all, it's not like a high shine gloss, it is just like a kind of sheen with a nice colour which I love um, a really thick heavy gloss is not for me sorry I'm, I'm very aware I'm very aware that this palette is going on sale soon I'm like Ugh. the glitter I really like that that was beautiful they're very finely milled very pretty easy to work with I will definitely be buying more of these glitters again uh, what else did I use oh the mascara the mascara was by far my favourite thing that I used today. I'm shocked at how much I love this mascara. I think it's fantastic and I actually do think I may have found like a favourite mascara but I will see how it wears through the day and see if like this makeup lasts through my hip class without me looking like Alice Cooper. No offence. Like at the end of it I'll see how the mascara wears. Uh, what else was there? Oh yeah. And these, like I said already, really liked these. Um, £5 for four eyeliners or lip liners is really good value for money. It's handy just to all be in the one thing like this. Um, only thing I wish is that for the nudes specifically, the colour was next to the little retractor bit. But not really a big deal I suppose. I only used two of the Makeup Revolution brushes, they were fine, they're brushes, um, I don't really have much more to say about them to be honest. So I think that's everything, I hope that you have enjoyed the video. Throughout January I'm really trying to post every Thursday and every Monday. Um, I will do some makeup reviews, tutorials, get ready with me's, um, brand um reviews like trying out first impressions um, so if you would like to see that then feel free to subscribe if you've liked this video feel free to like it if you didn't like the video feel free to dislike it it is a free country after all and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one bye am I high because I'm searching on Morphe's website for James Charles's palette. And it's not coming up. I'm on Morphe. I'm on Cult Beauty. What the fuck is the palette, sister? <laughs> what you're purchasing is super popular right now. Okay. Thank you, Christy. Thank you for your order.